Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Noble Fates, where last time we met Isaac, Lorne and Meter, and together they formed the Kingdom of the Grungy Shackles, and Isaac here was declared king, you can tell he's king because he has a big fancy very pointy crown on, although he does call himself a dictator, which is a little bit worrying, so hopefully he'll change his mind about that and he'll realise that king sounds way nicer. Then we built our wonderful little wooden shack over here, where we're all going to live, and along the way we were joined by Grinny. So now we have four members of our kingdom, which is marvellous stuff. So today, I think the priority is going to be hats. Lots and lots and lots of lovely hats. Because Isaac here, Isaac loves hats. Look at that. It says there in green letters, he loves hats. So do you know what? He loves hats. I love hats. So let's make some hats. We can be the hat kingdom. I think that sounds like a wonderful thing to be doing. Now, I think to get hats, it's just a case of them finishing work on this thing just here, the crafting table. So I think, yeah, they've got enough wood, I think. Yeah, there's loads of wood. We have 145 wood. So I think, yeah, it's just a case of somebody going over and building this. But it might be that we don't know how to build this because of course that's how they kind of learn new things in this game. They kind of have to sort of piece things together and try and understand how to build certain things like a crafting table. Now, what is Meter doing? Um, Meter is learning bronze sconces. Ah, yeah, okay, there's one of those on the other side of the wall. It might be helpful, Meter, if you went round yeah, this side of the wall to look at where we'd like the thing to be put, but that's fine, that's fine. You do you, you sort that out. Um, so yeah, let's move time on. And let's just see if anyone's actually going to come over and start putting this crafting table together. Because that is kind of key, really. I think as well, it's going to be bedtime soon, isn't it? Um, do we got, have we got a bed? Yeah, there we go. We have a bed for Grinny. That's absolutely fine. At one point that wasn't finished, was it? But now it's all done. Ah, hang on a second. Hang on. Are they, are they finished working on that? No, I think Lawler is tidying up. I think Grinny just did a little bit of sort of work over there, but I don't think he actually put anything together. I think he just came and, I don't know, worked on the floor or something. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we still don't have a roof on our building either. It's not entirely sort of covered in roof quite yet. Can we go down here and have a look at how much we've got to do? I mean, it's sort of okay. They're doing it in a slightly random kind of haphazard way. There's a bit down here that's not done and then a bit across the front, and then this whole bit over here, over those bedrooms, isn't done. But look at that, they are slowly but surely working on it. They are kind of getting round to it. It's just taking them a little while, but that's absolutely fine. So there we go. We'll have a roof on everything soon enough. But yeah, really, we need our kind of crafting tables in now. We need that over there so we can actually make sort of various items. Then we need this over here, although I don't think, are there any animals? Still no animals around. No animals at all on the entire map, or is that just nearby to us? I'm not entirely sure how far... Oh, no, hang on. Hang on. No, there's a doe. There's a doe near Meter. Okay, right, so they have to be within sight of them. Okay, I see. It's not just a case of, right, there are all these animals on the map, go and hunt them. They have to actually be aware of them. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Right, could we possibly go and hunt that, please? Could we go and hunt this? Because we do need some more food. We're okay for food. Although we are on a sort of very, uh, very berry heavy diet. Um, but yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Some food is better than no food, even if it is berries. But um, yeah, if we could get some meat, that would be quite nice. Because then we have a butchering table to actually chop the poor thing up. And then we've got a little oven thing, which is on the way. I don't think we've quite got that yet. But then we could cook the food and have some lovely cooked meat type stuff. So um, yeah, if we could possibly do a spot of hunting over here, that would be quite nice. Now, yeah, was there another animal? Because there was one there, and then it kind of vanished off the list. Um, I do not know. Let's go back to resources for now. Um, also, yeah, can we just go and grab that log as well? Just grab that log. And then, what have we got to do? There's still quite a lot of sort of orders for them to do. So, I think, let's just run time on nice and quick. Um, ah, the Maya Wanderers are visiting. There's a lot of wanderers coming by. Hello, wandering people. Um, okay, whereabouts are they? Could we do some trading with them to possibly pick up some more corn seeds? Because we have a cornfield over there, but it's a little bit bereft of corn, which is a bit sad. Um, where are they? They normally sort of turn up and sort of, you know, set up camp quite nearby. Where are you, Maya Wanderers? Oh, you're kind of all the way down here. There's a couple of you. Um, right, Isaac, could you come down here and... Oh, okay, attack, capture, or clean... Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Can we just... Okay, hang on a minute. Why can't we why can't we trade with them? <laughs> I'd like to trade with you. Uh, I know we can speak to you. Okay, let's go over and have a chat. Let's go over and I feel like we probably should talk to to um 
to Maya, actually, because she's the one in charge. Let's go and speak to this person here. So there we go. Let's have a word with you. Well, it does look like you're going to go over and have a chat with the bedroll. Anna, there you go. You are coming over here. Right, so come on, Isaac. Chop, chop. I know it's late, but come on. Here we go. Um, okay, trade with them. Have they got anything that we are interested in? They do have some underripe meal beans. Um, okay, so our boss guy, Isaac, doesn't like it and Lorne doesn't like it. Probably not brilliant. And then berries. We can pick up loads of berries. I'm not so bothered about that. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe we do pick up four lots of those just for the sake of picking up a little bit of extra food. And we could give you, I don't know, I mean, we could give you, I don't want to give you loads of that wood, because we kind of want to keep that really. How about, oh, cotton isn't really worth much either. What have we got that's worth quite a lot? Copper. There's quite a bit of copper around. What if we give you, um, like that? What if we give you, hang on, this is very confusing. Total one, total one. Well, it's not, because the difference is over one, isn't it? Um, oh, it's just under one. Math with Penge. So 0 0.53 to 1.47. It says total one and total one. Is that acceptable? That can't be acceptable. The trade is accepted. Okay, fine. Yep, that's fine. Pleasure doing business with you. I kind of feel like we fleeced you a bit there. Um, let's have a chat with you whilst we're here. A nice sort of midnight chat with Maya. Ask what's on their mind. Uh, oh, hang on. We have to unpause time for a second. What's on your mind? Nice and direct and to the point. I could eat beef stock with berries, I guess. I think we have some about that. Um, I don't care about beef stock with berries. And Maya likes that. Okay, fine. Beef stock with berries is so-so, I guess. And she kind of liked that. Cooked beef makes me happy. Lawler wants to join. Oh, oh, hang on a second. Oh, that means we are going to need more food, however. Um, okay, I liked cooked beef. <laughs> I do like their little chats. <laughs> oh boy, October berries. Um... I don't care about October berries. It seems to me that Isaac is saying the opposite of, of Maya there, but Maya seems quite happy with this. Oh boy, berry and mealy porridge. This is a very foody chat. Um, okay, what else is on your mind? <laughs> oh, human skin is awful. It, it depends on its application. If it's surrounding human flesh that's on a human skeleton and they're you know, sort of walking about, then it's probably quite a good thing. Otherwise, humans are going to be kind of all kind of weird looking. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're just gonna, I'm just going to go away. I don't want to talk to you about human skin. I feel deeply uncomfortable. Um, okay, Lawla. Can we have a look at Lawla? Lawla is... Okay, hang on, this is a bit weird. <laughs> Lawla, why are you watching Law and have a sleep? This is all very odd. Um, can we have a look at you? So can we see your kind of, uh, hang on, overview? Uh, okay, you're 21, you've got an axe, and you've got various bits and bobs. You have got some coins with you. Okay, that's good. Um, however, yeah, jobs. Okay, you're quite good at firefighting. And you like firefighting. So if there is a fire, you're going to jump right in there. That's very good. Uh, logging is three. Okay, that's quite good. Uh, hunting. Hunting is two. And it says their potential. So the potential is that sort of plus or minus at the end there. Uh, that's above average. So they could become very good at hunting. Um... Do you know what? Yes. I think five people sounds like a good number of people to have fairly early on. I mean, yes, okay, we're going to need some more food, but I think that sounds pretty good. Um, okay, Isaac, would you like to speak to Lawler, please? Do that quickly, because I'm aware you do need to go and have a sleep, because they do have their kind of, their sort of need me to things. So here we go. You go and have a chat and uh, listen to Lawler's request to join. Okay, um, I join the Grungy Shackles if you'll have me. Okie doke. What say you? Uh, yes, absolutely. Yes, welcome aboard, says Isaac with his amazing little kind of green beard. Okay, there we go. Lawla has joined. Now, oh, hang on. And Lawla has just... <laughs> Lawla has just deposited all the things they were holding onto the floor. Okay, uh, grape seeds. We've got some October berries. Huge big pile of... Um, huge big pile of wood and some copper, and some coins. 15 coins. Okay, that's pretty good going. That is not bad at all. Okay, right. Now we're going to need another bedroom set up. Um, kind of hadn't planned for this. I kind of thought we'd just have three people for ages. Then a fourth came along. That was quite a surprise. Now we've got five. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, we might need to make some minor changes over here. Possibly we might need to build a wall just there. And then have 
that room kind of over there and then have another room set up over here and have a tiny corridor down there. Um, yeah, maybe that's what, maybe that's what we should do. Or do we just build a room out here and then just, because that's, we could have it kind of coming down here and then just have the room there and then a little bit down here possibly. Um, do you know what? For now it's fine. Hopefully Lawn will be, hopefully Lawn will be okay. Just sort of, I don't know, standing around there. Um, but yeah, I like the way that the visitors come and help out. Like Maya there, or Maya, however you say, is helping do some kind of hauling. They just helped us out a great deal. They moved a couple of bits around the place. Lola, could you do some hauling? Are you able to do that? Yeah, store wood. Go and actually do some stuff. Oh, we need to do your priorities, don't we? We need to go and do that. Where are you going? You're, oh, you're just sort of gathering wood. Oh, okay. I thought you'd just go for that one bit, but no, you seem to be doing all of it. Okay, that's brilliant. Yes, that's really, really helpful. Um, Yeah, Lawler, we need to do your kind of job setup, don't we? Um, so yeah, firefighting, definitely number one, because you love a bit of that. Um, And then, yeah, nursing, that seems good. Right, logging. Yeah, okay, you like that. That can be your main job. You can be tree chopper extraordinaire. Uh, then maybe hunting can be number four. Um, Then possibly crafting. You're not very good, but you don't mind it and you've got good potential with it. Then crafting, um, then possibly cleaning, then guarding, then farming. Ooh, there's a zero on there, but you like cooking. Okay, then cooking if we have to, and then ranching. <laughs> Everything else other people can deal with. Okay, yep, yeah, that seems fine. That's a good balance. Right, okay, most people are asleep, except Lola, who's kind of just sort of standing around the place wishing for a bed. Um, so I think what we need to do is we'll wait until everyone gets up, and then we'll see if everyone can finish this list of jobs over here because we do have a few things that need to be done although the storage tasks are coming down because because Maya is very helpfully sorting all that out for us which is brilliant okay that's very nice are these done are they there um I think no they're queued it's queued up that was quite tricky to see I did think they were there for a second no they're not quite there yet um I did see where was it was it there up here uh, yeah large wooden tables are now available and shelves oh and a foundry oh that sounds quite a good thing to have and door locks and various other bits and bobs but um but yeah big tables do we replace our teeny tiny table here with a big table maybe we'll leave it for a bit let's just get this stuff set up first but yeah if this list of tasks could come down that would be quite good because there are quite a few bits and bobs for them to do so it'd be really handy if they could just work on those okay we've got loads of wood now Got absolutely loads of wood. So if we could finish working on all this stuff, that'd be nice. There's a torch to go in over there. There's some sort of a hauling going on. Um, yeah, so come on. Let's just finish working on this. There you go. Meter is doing some repairs, possibly. Oh, no, they're doing the roof. They're doing the roof. Of course they are. Hang on a second. So if we now put the roof on. Yes. Oh, this is wonderful. It, there's, there's a little bit in the corner. You've missed a bit. And there we go. I think that's it. I think our building is complete. I mean, it's not perfect, but it will do. Okay, there we go. Our building's done. Okay, that's wonderful. And it's got a roof on. Hooray. Right, and now, oh, hang on. <gasps> Lawn has completed the crafting table. Right, so here we go. Meter is trying to understand how a butcher table works, which is fair, Meter. It seems appropriate that you're working on the butcher table, given your name. We've got a level up. Oh, okay. Yay. Let's give you a level up, Meter. Okay, so what do you get? Melee plus one, uh, mining plus one, building. Building is now three. That's quite good. And crafting is one. Okay, that's very good. Um, yeah, the crafting table is now done. But yeah, meter. I think that's the wrong way round. Is that not? That seems to me the wrong way round. Hang on, hang on. Cancel that. <laughs> I think that's facing the wrong way. That was facing that way. Hang on a second. Work. Benches. Oh, yeah. The foundry is there. Yes, yeah, stove. Yeah, we need to get some more, um, we need to get some more, uh, stone for that one. But yeah, I think it's supposed to be that way. Yeah, that, that's, that's better. That's actually how it's supposed to look. Okay, right. This is all good. So yeah, we still do have quite a lot of stuff to work on, but can we, do you know what? Let's get through some of this stuff first. Let's see if we can bring our little kind of task list down ever so slightly, and then we can get on with doing some of the building stuff. But right now, I'd just like to get all that kind of stuff out of the way. I mean, what is there left to build? 11 things. There's there's a flag. That'd be quite nice. Oh, 
Oh, oh, hang on a second. Hang on. We can choose. Oh, this is amazing. Hang on. Can we have, can we have like a cup? Um, okay. We can pick the emblem and then the colors. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Um, we can have a bag, a battle axe, a bolt, a cow, a door, a drop. It could be a drop of tea, an Ikea knife, a round shield, teeth, or a tree. Let's have a drop. We don't quite know what this is going to look like. Uh, and then primary. Oh, okay. Okay. It's not perfect geek cupboard colours, but it will do. And then we'll have a kind of darker metal and maybe a darker bit of wood to go with it. Okay. That's exciting. Can we customise other things? Yes, we can. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, you can customise. Oh, hang on. That's the entire wall. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Oh, there's types. Oh my goodness me. Oh, there's different types of wall. We can put windows. There's a little, well, that's next to a burning flame. That's a put, someone puts their head out the window and ends up on fire. That's probably quite bad. Um, how about we have, do we want a little window there? Maybe we don't want windows. Just in case that does something to, I don't know, the room maybe makes it open or something like that. Um, okay, no, this is fine. This is fine. Right, so they're both trying to understand how things work. That is okay. And I think, oh, this is brilliant. Look at this. Things are happening. Things are happening right now. Yep, that's being done. We're going to dismantle two things. What exactly are we dismantling? Right, Lorne is now struggling over how to build the, uh, the the bronze sconce just there. That's a little bit of a mystery. Ah, but here we go. The butcher table is now in. Grinny is uh, socialising quite a lot. That's good. Grinny's still trying to understand this. Do you know what, Grinny? That's fine. That's okay. Maya says, I am tired. Have a nap then, possibly. Right, okay, so we've learned some new stuff. We've learned wooden stools, wooden chairs. Oh, oh, we can now build more and more exciting things. Okay, this is very good. Oh, we're never going to stop building stuff. Okay, we have four things left to build right now. So the flag. Oh, no, hang on. We just finished one thing. Did you finish doing that? Is the sort of sconce thing done? Um, are we not supposed to put a torch in that? <laughs> there we go. That's better. There we go. So the king's, because you're a king, not a dictator, is it? The king's room now has a fancy kind of lighting thing in it. So there are only three things left to build. There's a flag. There's that thing there. And there's apparently one more thing, although I'm not entirely sure what that one thing should be. Uh, plant, store, hunt, and then learning. Okay. Right, so now are we gathering a lot of stone? Because then if we gather some stone, we can then work on this. Um, okay, hang on, me... No, this is a diff... This isn't our meter. This is... The, our is meter. This is meter. Uh, best adroitness. <laughs> Hello there. A noble of the Firing Ripples. I'm here on behalf of Margrave Ugg and the Firing Ripples. There are some wonderful names in this game. I like what you've done with the place. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I've redecorated. May I stay for a while? Allow the firing ripples to take... Yes, of course. Make yourselves at home. Oh, yeah, normally they don't ask. Normally they just go, right, we're staying. And you go, oh, okay then. That's absolutely fine. You stay. But, um, oh, okay, yeah, you guys can stay. Um, oh, oh, hang on. Hang on. There's there's a bajillion animals over here all of a sudden. Um, right, okay. I can, uh, I, I think I can see lunch over here somewhere. How about... We hunt this. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, no, no, no. This is their animals. Oh, no, no. Let's not kill these. Yeah, look, it says owner, the firing ripples. Let's not kill all of their animals. <laughs> Imagine that. That would have been, I could, that could have been a terrible diplomatic incident. They've got loads of animals. Oh, my word. You've got a lot of animals going on. Wow. There's lots of flowers up here. That's very pretty. Lots of hyacinths and such like. There's some uh, some different coloured hyacinths. Is that lavender? No, that's hyacinth as well. Who knew there could be so many colours of hyacinth? Um, yeah, okay, right. Let's move time on. It's very hot. It's very hot right now. It's 30 degrees C. It's proper toasty out there. Um, yeah, some of the October berries are kind of falling apart. And Meter has levelled up again. Oh, okay, we must have not done the other one for ages. Okay, so melee, cooking, building has gone up, and you get a level 5 ability. Okay, so here we go. Roll those. Let's see what we get. And um, we can have uh, permanent plus 2 to building skill. That sounds good. Permanent plus 2 to cooking. Ah, I know, but you dislike cooking. Although, yeah, I think... Um, are you assigned to do cooking? Um, no, you're not. It, no, you're not. Firefighting is in building. Yeah, building. 
do you know what? Yeah, let's have a permanent plus two to your building skill. Absolutely, yes, please. Okay, that means that means meter is very, very good at building stuff. That is excellent news indeed. And there's meter. Okay, Isaac, are we able to go and have a chat? Can we have a chat with uh, this person here? Hello, how are you? Uh, can we trade with you? Oh, you've got loads of exciting things. You've got animals that are really expensive that we can't possibly afford. Okay, <laughs> never mind, never mind. We need to start making stuff for trade. We really do need to start doing some trade. However, you have got 15 corn seeds. Uh, right, can we buy 15 of those, please? It's six coins. We've got 26 coins on us. Um, yeah, I think that is probably worth doing. And do you know what we could... We could buy some pumpkin seeds. We can't plant them now, as we saw last time, but they are probably worth growing. I mean, actually, it's summer. Maybe we can grow them now. I think pumpkin seeds are probably a more sort of autumnal thing. But do you know what? Let's grab eight of those. So we're going to give away nine of our coins unless we can somehow offset that damage. We don't really have anything. We don't really have much. We've got some copper. What if we just give you some lots of that? and say, uh, there you go, we're going to give you eight. We'll give you eight coins. And uh, yeah, it's, this is a bit confusing, this screen here. We're going to give you eight coins and 1.13 trade worth of copper. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. And then we can get some corn seeds and some pumpkin seeds. Yep, yeah, okay, so Meter has accepted that. Splendid stuff. Uh, right, we'll come back to you in a second. We'll end that conversation for now. So now hopefully we can go over there and start planting some stuff. Is Grinny on it already? Oh, hang on. I think Grinny is... Grinny is learning corn. Okay. <laughs> That's very good. Um, and is it worth now adding a farm? Just add a small farm for now. And in here, can we put pumpkins? Yes, we can. It is now the right season for pumpkins. Okay, how many pumpkin seeds have we got? Um, is it those? 13. Okay, so that was nine, wasn't it? So hang on, we need to make this farm bigger. Uh, hang on, not rush plant commands. How do we how do we change the size of the farm? I'm not entirely sure how we change the size of a farm. Hang on, uh, destroy that for now. That's okay. We'll just build it again. So um, hang on. So we've got one, two. That's that's nine. That's twelve, and that's slightly too big. Do you know what? We'll do twelve. We'll do twelve like that. Okay, and then yeah, pumpkins. Okay, that's very good. How long do these things take to grow? Uh, ripeness is 31. I mean, are these ready to grow? Maturity is 100. Health is 100. Water is 100. Ripeness is 31. That's ripeness of 7. That's a ripeness of 8. Yeah, so they're the newer ones. That's a ripeness of 16. That's... Oh, hang on a minute. That's... Uh, I want to click on the individual things, please. There we go. That's ripeness 37. That's 41. I assume they went in first. Okay. I think it's going to be down to the ripeness, isn't it? We've got 18 things that we've learned. Stone hearth, stone doors, scrolls, cloth, carpets, iron sconces, standing banners, fine wooden floors. Meter learned potted plants. Bronze candelabras, basic chest. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Can we build a sort of treasure chest type thing? Um, uh, no, it's not structures. It'll be furniture, storage. Uh, and we could build a shelf. We could build a little shelf. Okay, let's pop a shelf in the corner just there. Um, hang on a minute. So furniture. Um, I mean, yeah, where would kind of like a treasure chest type thing be? don't think there's anywhere in those. Would it be in decor? Standing? Um chests oh yes a basic chest 12 copper okay let's put a fancy sort of treasure chest type thing into into isaac's room because why not i think we're lacking copper that's okay we can sort that out gather the copper gather the copper just gather a few bit you know what gather all that copper there is that enough i'm not sure but plenty for you to be getting on with folks uh, but yeah, don't kill any of these animals because that's going to get us into quite a big bit of trouble. Um, look at that. Everyone's learning stuff. People are just sort of looking befuddled and trying to learn things. I think Meter is trying to understand a flag. Lorne is looking at a plant pod. <laughs> the secret to this, Lorne, is that right? it's a pod 
with a plant in it. I mean, yeah, that's that's kind of the key to this. That's how that works. Okay. Uh, yeah, people are they're learning all sorts of exciting things. Meter has learned, yeah, about the plants. Okay. Right, Grinny has gone to bed. Or did we do Grinny's schedule? Did we do Grinny's schedule? No, we didn't. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. Can we please do people's schedule? Um, do you know what we could do? We could have Grinny and Lawla actually around and about in the day. That would be... Uh, sorry, in the night time, sorry. So they could sleep in the day and they could be around at night time just to have a bit of a presence going on all the time. I think that sounds like a good idea. So what do they do? They get eight hours of sleep. So how about they have a little bit of a chat in the morning? Do you know what? Have some relaxing time. So get up and have some food and then you can relax for an hour. I will let that happen. They can relax for an hour. Probably relax for an hour at the end of the day as well. Um, and then, yeah, they need to go to sleep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. So eight hours and then wake up and then have some food and then have a bit of a relax. Yeah. So they're kind of, you know, they're the night. They're the night shift. And Isaac, Lorna, Meter, the original three, they're the kind of day shift. There you go. I quite like that. That seems to make a bit more sense. So we have sort of stuff happening all the time. People have learned corn. Uh, Lawler, oh yeah, Lawler still doesn't have a bed. Sort of didn't do that. Sorry, Lawla. Um, okay, we'll try and get to that at some point. I think we might need to... I see, normally, normally I do like a corridor. But I, yeah, I didn't expect this many people to join us quite so quickly. So I didn't sort of do a corridor. Um, okay, what we'll do is we'll expand down that way a bit. Um, Lawla says, may we throw a feast, your greatness? I mean, as long as it's mostly based on berries, then yes. Also, what's happened to your eyes? Um, yeah, host a feast. Excellent idea. Begin the preparations. I, I don't know how we do this. And Mita has learned the wall flag. Oh, there. We've got our wall flag. <laughs> do you know what? I like that. That, do you know what? Those colours actually work. They did not look kind of like that on here, but when they're on the actual flag, they are perfect. We have a geek cupboard, corporately branded flag with a drop of tea on it, of course. Okay, that's very exciting. And we have ourselves a bit of a feast going on. So we've got Meter, Meter, Grinny, Lorne, and Isaac. So they've put the they've put the the president, the king, the dictator, whatever you want to call it. The person in charge is sat on the floor. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Okay. And Lawler brings in some of the travel snacks because we are a little bit kind of down on food. <laughs> oh dear. October berries are decaying. Um. Yeah. Okay. I mean, let's let's move this feast on. This all looks very nice indeed. And um. Yeah, Shane has come in. Hello, Shane. There, I mean, yeah, Maya stood on a bed. Bit rude, but okay. Meter says, I'm tired. This is nice, look. They're all having a little happy feast. And they're all eating great big piles of food. Don't eat too much food, though, folks, all right? <laughs> don't, don't eat too much, because we haven't got that much. Speech, says Maya. Speech, says Stir. Who's Stir? <laughs> oh, there's someone called Stir over there. Hello. Um, Isaac says, thank you, thank you. Okay, so what do we do? We can do multiple things. We can either recognise the accomplishments of our people, we can sway their opinions, or we can inspire their efforts. I think, because we have done quite well, we've done okay, look at this. We've got ourselves a little house and some fields going on. It's all looking pretty good. So I think let's recognise the accomplishments of our people and what we've done here so far. Um, oh, I see. We have to kind of recognise the... Uh, yeah, we have to recognise the accomplishments of a particular person, not generically. I think Meter, because Meter has done very well. So let us recognise the accomplishments of Meter. It might annoy the others, but there we go. Okay, so hang on a minute. Oh, loves eyes. Yeah, Meter really likes us. Let us take a moment to recognise Meter. I love you because I'm excited for a new beginning, says Meter. Okay, sway opinions. Um... Let's not do that and inspire efforts. Inspire building, cleaning or cooking, foraging, guarding, hauling, hunting. Oh, oh, this is exciting. Um, okay, inspire. Uh, oh, I've no idea. What are we going to use more than anything else? I mean, hunting might be useful. Inspire hunting efforts. Why not? We must double our hunting efforts. Okay, and then let's finish our speech. Eat well, be merry. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank you for your patronage. Oh, well done. Cheers. Absolutely. Cheers. Highest. I'm worried about our food stores. I'm always worried about the food stores, Lorne. 
Can you designate some plants for us to forage? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Of course, let me get right on that. Right, hang on a second. Yes, we'll designate some foraging stuff. Um, is there any? Okay, there's one. <laughs> there's a plant. Forage that. Uh, and actually, yeah, those. Oh, no, not those ones over there. Can we just have these three? That'll be grand. There we go. Forage those as well. Do you know what? Cot uh, cotton bushes. Forage those. Because that will give us some cotton. Because I think it might be time for us to start thinking about hats. I think it might be hat time. I'm still a bit annoyed they haven't done any hunting yet. Um, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. Jobs, 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 jobs. That one down there. Hunting. Nine, nine and four. So Lawla should be firefighting, then nursing, then logging and then and then hunting. Oh, hang on. Does Lawla have anything to go hunting with? <laughs> Or is Lolly just going to hopefully you know, jump up on the animal and go boo and hope they scare it to death? Um, where's your where's your kit? Overview. You've got a stone axe and some torches. We have got some arrows. Right, hang on. Over to the crafting table we go. Okay, this is exciting. Add task, gear and miscellaneous. So we could make some torches. We could make some wood and arrows. Okay. Let's do that, shall we? So wood and arrows uh, make 25 of those. We've got plenty of wood. Okay, so do that and assign two. Uh, is that their crafting skill? Yeah, we've not really got anybody that likes doing crafting. Hang on. Uh, who actually would want to do some crafting? Where's jobs? Uh, crafting. Okay, Lorne likes crafting. So let's give that job. I mean, Lorne is very good at everything. Sorry, Lorne. Um, yeah, Lorne, you can get on with that, please. And then, hang on. So what's in misc? Torches and arrows. So here, look, caps, cloth hood, or a Santa hat. <laughs> oh, we could just make loads of Santa hats. Okay, but there we go, look. Stone axe, wooden hammer. Uh, okay, not... We haven't got, have we got bow? I don't know, we've got all these arrows. Okay, I thought maybe we could craft a bow, but clearly we can't craft a bow. Oh, maybe oh, we'll make the arrows anyway. It's fine. We've, we've got we've got the resources. It's okay. So a cloth tunic, cloth leggings, cloth gloves, cloth shoes. Okay, so our people, look at that. Our people aren't big on shoes. Really big on hats. Isaac loving the uh, cloth hoods there. But then we go, hey, cloth shoes. And they're like, no, I don't like shoes. I like the feel of stone stabbing into the bottom of my feet. Why do they not like shoes? That's very odd. Um, there's a thing in this game, so if they craft something, I'm not entirely sure it's every time, but I think when they craft something, um, it has a special property to it. So it could be like the cloth hood of hunting or the cloth hood of farming or whatever. I think they do have certain kind of properties. Um, so make the arrows. I don't know, make five cloth hoods. Make five of those. How much do they take in terms of material? Three cotton. And um, Lorne, uh, not Lorna, uh, Lorla, Lorne, you can make those. There we go. Okay, this is all very good. We've actually got some crafting stuff to do. Um, however, they're all having a bit of a party right now. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh, Shane, look at your moustache. Oh, that is a, that's a thing of majesty. Can we zoom in any more on your wonderful moustache? Don't think we can. But look at that. That is splendid. It's got twiddly bits on the end. Well done, Shane. Good moustachage going on there. Um, okay, right. Let's run time on quite quickly until the feast is done. Because they are certainly making the most of this feast. Uh, another couple of hours. Another hour. I mean, it's going to be a late night for some of you. Isaac, it, Isaac has gone to bed. <laughs> He's had to go and have a sleep. Um, but I mean, yeah, Grinny is still hanging around. It's bedtime. Oh, no, no. It's not bedtime for Grinny, is it? Because Grinny is on the night shift. So Grinny should be okay. Grinny is up and about doing stuff. And I think, is Grinny understanding pumpkins? Yes, Grinny is learning pumpkins. And now Grinny's relaxing. And Grinny is probably going to go to bed now. Okay, right. So gather minerals, do some building, do lots of planting, foraging, storing. Okay, right. This is all fine. So I think if we could do the hunting, that would be really good. However... There are some more berry things over here. But the Maya Wanderers are leaving. Um, ah, this is us. This is actually us. Our kind of demigod, kind of wibbly, mysterious kind of thing. Uh, things seem to be going all right for my little friends. Oh, oh no. There's a red, angry looking, wibbly thing. Kian, what's this? Did the little contra find itself some new toys to play with? Stay away. 
Demonia. Demonia. Can't you say I'm trying to build something here? I don't need demon kin interfering. We'll see about that. Oh no, don't send baddies. I don't want baddies to come by. Oh, there's a thing. There's some sort of portal opening up. Hang on, Lawn, level up a second. <laughs> right, Lawn should be, yeah, you're level six. Mining, building, and crafting has gone up. That's really good because you're actually doing some crafting. Um, yeah, I can I can sense badness happening here. I can sense badness happening. I love the way that <laughs> they're both just looking at these shelves. I do quite like this. It's it's a very different way round of kind of unlocking new things. I just like the fact that it, yeah, it's like how many people does it take to change a light bulb kind of thing. How many people does it take to understand how shelves work? Um, yeah, there's a mystical kind of portal thing opening up here. Which does concern me ever so slightly. Um, hi, Curious is... Oh, short bow's available. <gasps> okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Add task. Um, gear. Weapons. Short bow. Yes. Okay, Lawla Reed doesn't like short bows. You're going to have to make some anyway, I'm afraid. Uh, make... I know, a couple. Make two of them. Um, and... Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen here. I, I feel a bit sorry for Meter... Meter over here might possibly get eaten a bit. And stir as well. Because, yeah, some sort of terrifying beastie is going to come through this thing. There is a portal. Portal remaining 55 minutes. Um, I kind of feel like we need to keep an eye on the portal. Just in case something that we don't want to come through it comes through it a bit. Okay, let's put it on to regular speed. And we'll just see if something happens. Right, hopefully this portal can go away. Please go away, portal, be gone. Okay, nothing happening with the portal quite yet. However, Isaac can level up, so that's quite good news. Hooray! Right, okay, King Isaac has leveled up. Right, Isaac gets his level 5 ability. He's also become very good with ranged weapons, which is very handy indeed. I mean, yeah, we could give you a bow. Um, cooking has gone up, mine has gone up, and logging has gone up. You're very good at chopping the trees down. And now you get your fancy level 5 ability... Let's see what we're going to get. Something to do with bows. That could be handy. Uh, choose range skill, active ability. Plus three to range skill. That's green thumb ability. Target foliage experiences full growth cycle in 15 minutes. Oh, okay. So we can make something grow from nothing to completion in 15 minutes. Five tile range. That's quite good. Five day cooldown after use. But that means we could just make all that corn grow right now and then not have to worry about it for ages. Okay, that sounds quite good. Or a logging thing. You're quite good at logging. I mean, the range skill would be quite useful, but green thumb ability, that sounds wonderful. Uh, right, and now we're just going to keep an eye on this. I don't quite know whether this is... I mean, in 17 minutes, is something going to pop out of this and go boo? It, it, I mean, do we need to worry about this in now uh, 12 minutes? I don't know. Or does, is this just going to go away? Do you know what? Time will tell, because it's ticking down. Is anything happening? Monsters are attacking. Ah, right. They're coming through this portal. Okay, right. I thought maybe that would go away. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Okay, Isaac is trying to learn pumpkins. Uh, right, we might need everybody. We might need everybody on fighting duty, please. And go over here. I, I feel a bit sorry for Mita. Mita, we're coming to help. We're coming to help. Just hang on a second. <laughs> we are running in. Oh, Meter's dealing... Oh, Meter, everything is fine. Right, okay, everyone as you were. <laughs> Meter's like, hey guys, hey, that was uh, that was a thing that happened. I just sorted out. And now I'm just going to uh, face plant this mountain because that's what I do now. Um, okay, it looks to have dropped some stuff. It's dropped some cloth leggings uh, and some silver. Oh, and some coins. Hang on, who'd like to go and grab that, please? Could we go and grab the um, grab that silver? Lawla, go and grab that silver. Store dead lesser imp. I don't want to store it. Butcher it. Can we eat imp? Do people care if we eat imp? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, uh, where was it? Opinions. Um, is there anything about eating imp? There's a thing about raw humans and raw orcs. <laughs> Human skin, human leather. Um, okay. It doesn't say anything about eating imps. Could we possibly butcher the imp? I mean, it, it came to kill us and it's failed to do so. So can we now turn it into some delicious food? I, I genuinely have no idea. I don't know. Let's see if we can do that. And in the meantime, can we just get 
all of that stone and just gather that as well because then we can finish doing some of our building work over here and we can get the kind of oven thing set up and everything else uh yeah okay and uh oh, the butcher table isn't done isn't it finished hang on rebuild dismantle crate oh okay is there not a kind of list of orders for the butchering table okay fine that's not how that works okay no. right lawn is still struggling to understand the basic concepts of his shelf i think which is understandable that's fine and yeah all the um all those goodies are now over here so yeah we've got a big chunk of silver that's very nice it's gonna last 24 years outdoors and we have yeah a, a dead body out there we have told them to go and butcher that body Okay, let's see if we actually do go ahead and do that. I've got no idea if they're going to do that or not. And then, um, yeah, could we also... Lorne, we do need you to be getting on with other stuff. I mean, these shelves are sort of important, but I want you to start making... I mean, arrows are good, and, you know, bows are handy, but hats! Come on, Lorne! Uh, hats are required very much now. Joe, you know Isaac, hang on. Isaac, can you use your skill? Can you use your skill on... Uh... Ripeness 65. I mean, yeah, could you use it all on some of this corn over here? We haven't planted the pumpkins yet. I'm not entirely sure why we haven't done that. Hang on. It'd be quite good if we could get the pumpkins. Hang on. Can we just tell you? Ooh, right. That's that's many, many things. Uh, I don't know that one. <laughs> Isaac, can you go and plant some pumpkins? Are you, st are you still trying to understand pumpkins? Crikey. Okay, there's a lot of people trying to understand things going on. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I think as well, we do need to get some more um, building stuff going on. I do quite like the idea of fine wood. It's 18 wood for one bit of uh, one bit of fine wood flooring. Crikey, that's, that's quite steep, isn't it? Okay, uh, we'll just have regular wood, please. So if we bring that down like that, and then pop that like that, I think, that should be okay come out of that then we go to structure and walls and a wooden wall coming in like that and another one across like that and another one in like that then we'll have that coming down like that and then we need to get a door because that kind of helps so we'll have a door just there and then we want to get rid of those bits of walls there right so dismantle uh, no, that's a floor. Hang on, hang on. Where's the wall? Dismantle that and dismantle that. That will take the wall sort of uh, torch thing with it, but that's okay. I can cope with that. And then furniture and beds and a lovely bed. Uh, let's make it a bit different. Let's put that one in the middle of that room. Let's mix it up a bit. There we go. Splendid. Right, so then, yeah, that means that Lawla doesn't have to sleep on the floor because they're just kipping over here around the back of the house. Um... So yeah, Stir deserted the firing ripples. Oh, Stir, what are you doing? You you dislike the firing ripples. Oh, okay. You're just going, are you? Oh, okay. Bye then. <laughs> That's a bit sad. Bit of a sad state of affairs. Right, okay. Lorn, what are you up to? What are you doing? You are doing some gathering. Okay, that's good, that's good, and Meter has leveled up once again. You're doing very well, Meter. Uh, melee cooking and building, but you're so good at building. You're so good at building, Meter. Hang on a minute, hang on. We need to make sure that you are chief building person. Yeah, so firefighting, you're really good at it, even though you hate it. Uh, then nursing, you, you know, you're okay at it. You're not brilliant. No, you're not. You're terrible at it, in fact. No, you've got zero and you've got no potential. You're awful at it. Uh, but yeah, number three is building okay right very good stuff what was that at the bottom of priorities limits oh okay i don't fully understand what that means okay i'm just going to pretend i never saw that because i don't really understand it um yeah can we get building please i think are you moving are you building the stove oh my goodness me lawn you're doing super super good stuff right here we go and we're actually building it You've understood the stove. Meter is just about there. He's kind of going, oh, that's how the stove works. You put that bit there and that bit there. Okay. Right. And then, oh, look at this. You must, you've nearly understood the shelves. <laughs> there we go. And you're going to go and build a wooden floor. Have you not just understood the concept of shelving? And you're now not doing anything with that at all. 
Okay, no, it's fine. Right, let's let them get on with building some stuff over here. Oh no, hang on a minute. I think Isaac has just planted all of the available pumpkin seeds. Uh, because, yeah, I think... I think no, there's one left. There's one sort of pumpkin seed left. You're, ah, you're still planting pumpkin vine. Are you just going to go and pick up the last ones or whatever? Possibly. Uh, yeah, okay, so you then put these in. Is that it? And now you're foraging. Okay, this is good. I'm glad you're making yourself useful. You do some foraging. There we go. Foragey, foragey. Keep foraging. Oh, and then you're going to go and do some more foraging. My goodness me, you're very diligent. Uh, okay, right. I kind of want to use your ability thing. Because then we can have a load of lovely, lovely pumpkins. But yeah, you're doing... You're doing some, some really good foraging work right now, Isaac. You're certainly earning your crown. Good job. Although, are you picking everything up? Are you just sort of getting the berries and then leaving them on the floor? Because that, yeah, you are, look, you're just leaving them lying around. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you're supposed to pick up your stuff and take it back with you. <laughs> That's a little bit silly. Um, okay, look at that. They've almost completed the work on this. They've almost done this. Right, hang on a second. So, um, yeah, the owner of that bed is Lorn. Uh, no, it's not Lorn. It's Lorla. There we go. Because Lorla doesn't have a bed. Um, although, Lor hang on, hang on. Who hasn't got a bed? Lorla. I'm really confused who hasn't got a bed. Um, Isaac has a bed. Lorn has a bed. So why is Lorn down here sleeping on the floor? This is very confusing. Uh, Grinny just coming in there, just doing a spot of cleaning. Well done. A little sort of bit of tidying up. No bad thing. Clean your bed sheets. Um, okay, look at everyone's cleaning up. We're all just doing a massive load of cleaning. This is very good. This is very diligent. Oh, hang on. We've got raw imp. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, requires nearby heat source for the stove. Um, okay. Uh, what do we do with that? I love the fact you can change the colours of things. I mean, not a great deal. Not a great deal, but I love the fact that's even a thing. Uh, yeah, there's a massive pile of blood underneath the buttering table. This is a bit sinister. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, requires a nearby heat source. Okay, how about then we put a, um, hang on a minute, hang on, tabletop. <gasps> we can put a little candle on the table. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, I like that. That's exciting. Okay, well, hang on, lighting uh, walls. Let's put a bronze sconce. Have we got one? Does it require six copper? Which of these is copper? No, they're seeds. That's, that's grapes. Uh, I don't know if we've got any copper remaining. We have got a bit of corn, though. We've actually got some different food. Is that the corn just there? No, that's meal beans, wherever they are. Uh, I don't know where the corn is. I'm not quite sure where the corn is, but okay, we have some, apparently. Um, it's not outside, is it? We're not storing the corn in here. No, 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 because we're not storing food over there. Um, okay, I'm not entirely sure if we have copper, then. So we could do... Oh, no, the corn's just there. Just, yeah, lying on the floor, out in the open, going mouldy. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, if we just grab all of those, select 11 copper, gather that, and then if we say uh, lighting, walls, bronze sconce thingamajig, and we just put that there, is that is it near enough? I assume that's near enough, so we'll put that there and then just see how we get on with that. Okay, Lawler, why are you not bringing the corn back into our kind of storage thing? Why is that not happening? Store corn, a sign. Please go and do that now, because I don't want it to be left outside. It's taken us ages to grow that kind of stuff. So it'd be nice if you could actually store it away properly. Okay, so you've done one lot, which is good. Okay, so now go and do the other bit. And at least that is a little bit more food coming in. Yes, there we go. So our food amount is ticking up. It's not great, but yeah, it, it could be significantly worse. Okay, so there we go. And we have got a bit of meat in there. So yeah, we need to go and grab the copper now, right, so which of these is which of these is copper again? That just that. Okay, we've only got one lot of it. Um, okay, could you not go and work on this then? Lawler, what are you doing, Rana? You're equipping torches. Oh, okay, that's probably fine. That's probably okay. Now you're having a chat. Now you're just speaking to right. Grinny, at least, is over here doing some stuff. At five in the morning? Hang on, why are you doing that? Oh no, Grinny, Grinny and Laura are our sort of late night people. Oh no, okay, that's fine. Yeah, well done, Grinny. Good job. Yeah, that's what we want you to be doing. And Grinny can level up. Be better at mining. And that's what you're doing right now. That'd be handy. Okay, so Grinny, 
goes up to level three and mining does go up and logging and foraging as well. Okay, that is very good. So you're going to do this mining significantly better and meter the other meter is coming in to just do some do some hauling for us, which is very nice. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. That's very helpful. Right. I think we have enough copper to get that kind of wall sconce thing done. The only thing is, I think they're on they're on break time. What time do they all start? I can't remember. They all start the daytime sort of shift start at eight o'clock. OK, right. So now they're going to do some stuff. So hang on a minute. Meter. Can I sort of can I make sure I know you're working on that anyway. You're working on the wall thing. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, so you bring all the stuff back in over here. You get that set up. Can we put a wall torch into that? Because it's pretty useless without one. And no. Can we do that? Refueling candle. Okay, that's important. I'd, I'd like it. Where are you going? Okay, you're going quite far away. You're doing some kind of some work over there. Okay, this is fine. It's fine. Lawn, I think, is trying to understand cloth hoods. Very important. Got to understand the hats. Absolutely key. Um, Isaac, what you're storing some stuff. Okay, so once that's stored, can you sort this out? Because there's nothing in there. I want. There should be a torch in there or something. Light. Um, always. Oh no, it's on. It's on. Okay. So it requires nearby heat source. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I want to I want to cook some stuff. Cooked meat, cooked imp. Um yeah. So always do this. Just make I mean quantity is just yeah, infinite. Just always cook the imp. So do cooked imp requires a nearby heat source. I mean, do you not just light the thing underneath? Is that is that not what you would do? I don't know what a crate command is. Oh that probably ah right, okay. Rebuild is just move it. I imagine. Dismantle is taking it apart. Crate is long-term storage. So you pack all that stuff up in a box and you chuck it somewhere else. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what we do with the nearby heat source. Um, me to kill Prince Jesus. Oh my goodness me. Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. Okay. Heat source. So that clearly didn't work. So heat, fire pit. Ah, do we have to build some of these? A chimney. Okay, building a stone hearth. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Could that be right by the door as you come in? Possibly if we turn it around, that might be better. If we pop that there, that's going to take a long while for people to understand how to do it. And we don't have enough stone. How much stone do we have? 17. Oh, we're not that far off. 24. Do you know what? We can do that. We can absolutely get that sorted. Right, hang on. Let's grab those stones there grab those and a load of stones over there uh are we already getting them oh we're already getting them apparently are we? i don't know uh, yeah select those stones gather those and yeah gather that and gather that okay so still plenty of stuff for people to be doing and uh lawn is still trying to understand the concept of a hat yeah you kind of put it on your head lawn but yeah it's fine you you'll work it out eventually you just you know, keep concentrating Ah, yes, Isaac, we wanted you to use your kind of magic gardening power over here, didn't we? We wanted you to come over here and do this. I mean, could you go go to the pumpkin vine? Does that then put the little kind of thing over your head? Because you haven't got the little kind of skill thing over your head anymore. How do we use your skill if it's not shown to us right there? How do we do that? Because <laughs> you did have a skill. You did have a skill to grow these things. It was Isaac, wasn't it? It was Isaac. Hang on, hang on. Can we? There we go. Ah, there it is. Right. So, uh, choose a target for green thumb. If we just say that there is—is is that okay? I don't know. Is that going to work? Uh, green thumb is doing something. So now is he just going to go and do magic? Oh, look at that. Yes, the pumpkin vine is growing. It is at 100% maturity, and now ripeness is coming through. It is literally one plant. Okay, the other ones seem to have sort of picked up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we have one, <laughs> one plant. Okay, I thought maybe it might affect a radius, but nope, it's just one lovely pumpkin. Uh, oh, that does look marvellous though. Right, okay, Isaac. Uh, yeah, harvest the ripe pumpkins. That's very good. And now we have to wait five days for that to cool down. Okay. <laughs> Uh, right, okay, that's going to take a while, but that's okay. Right, back on to regular speed. Isaac, get over here and bring some more food in. Lorne wants a three-p piece of upper gear. 
Okay, I don't think we've made any gear quite yet. You're gonna have to um, you have to hang on for a second there. We have insufficient cotton. What? What do you mean insufficient cotton? No, we don't. What do you mean we have insufficient cotton? We had loads of cotton. We had much in the way of cotton. Um, we've got cotton seeds, coin, stone, uh, meal, beans. Where's all our cotton gone? How much cotton does it take to make a flag? <laughs> ah, uh, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. Decor and uh, walls. Uh, where was it? Flag. How much does it take to make a flag? Only 12? 12. We had more than that, didn't we? We had more than that. I think we can take things apart as well, can't we? We can dismantle things. Like those orc boot things. Nobody wants those. How do we take them apart? I'm not entirely sure. I'm a bit sad that we can't that we can't make our hats. I thought we had loads and loads of cotton. Unless we're using it to repair stuff or whatever. Oh no, it's the candle. Uh oh, is it the torches and such like? Is that using cotton? Is the candle have we just basically sacrificed a chance to have hats for the opportunity of a little candle on a table? Oh, that's... Okay, no, don't refuel it. That Oh, that's terrible. Okay, never. The candle never goes on. You've ruined it, candle. <laughs> You've made it all sad. We can't get any cotton. Okay, we're going to have to go and find some in the wild, I suspect. Um, yeah, there's a cotton bush over there. That's not ripe at all, though. Uh, right, hang on. There must be some more cotton bushes. Over here, look. There we go. Go and grab some cotton from these, please. Uh, yeah, go and forage those. And let's just go and find some more. There's some more over there as well. So look, there we go. Foragey, forage, and get some berries as well whilst you're there. Why not? The rake wanderers are visiting. Crikey, hello, more wandering people coming by. It, it's very lovely to see you all. It's very nice indeed. There is a pumpkin. There's a pumpkin over there. Can we go and harvest the pumpkin? And the corn, my goodness me. We need somebody on, like, we just need a new person maybe to just be number one hauling. Just haul everything. Because we are lacking kind of hauling people. I think lawn is... What are you trying to understand now? Wooden arrows. I mean, we don't really need wooden arrows. We don't need those. It's fine. It's okay. It's all good. And again, Meter is trying to understand the stone hearth. We also need that as well in order to make the food thing work. Zoe, noble of the spongy drops. Okay. Thy lordest. Ah, I like our titles. I like your pink eyebrows. They're very pointy. Uh, Thy lordest. I'm here for Minister Flick and the spongy drops. Okay. I'm interested in what you're up to here. But at the moment, we're staring at things, trying to figure out how they work, Zoe. May I look around? Yes, absolutely. Yes, please make yourselves comfortable. Yes, you may absolutely pop by. If you could help with some hauling, that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be brilliant. I'd be very, very happy with that if you could. Yeah, if we could just get this done. I just want to cook some food. I'd love to see what the kind of cooking options are. Um, apart from... Oh, no, we can look now, can't we? Food. Oh, hang on. Best amazingness. I'm here from the strongest ag news. <laughs> what? <laughs> Autocrat Spill sent me. Uh, okay, I'd like to improve our relations. Can we chat? Yes, of course we can. Of course, make ourselves home. Everyone's here. Crikey's. Like a giant party going on. Yeah, fine. Everyone come round. Everyone's welcome. Come along, everybody. It's all wonderful. Right, yeah, look at that. Meter is looking pretty good at understanding the stone half thing. I think that will be done pretty soon. Oh, no, I think Grinny is eating the raw imp meat. Don't eat the raw imp meat. Wait a second. Oh, they're, they're, ju they're just tucking right in there. Okay, right. We've got the hearth thing kind of underway. If you would have waited, you could have actually had some proper cooked food there. Right, the hearth thing is done. Uh, and now it's got a thing over it. Why is that complaining now? What do you complain? Chimney required. Bother. Okay, right. Hang on, hang on. Chimney was one of these things. Uh, heat and a chimney. Oh, okay, right. We need a chimney, everybody. Okay. <laughs> I kind of thought that was just going to poke through the roof without us having to explicitly say that, but clearly not. However, we're making clothing. We are making clothing. We have made a Stew Smith's cloth hood, which gives whoever's wearing it plus one cooking. Okay, who is who is set to do cooking? Not entirely sure. Hang on. Jobs. Uh, cooking is... It's lawn. Okay. <laughs> You've made your own hat. Um, now, can I remember how we did any of this kind of stuff? Uh, hang on, it, it must be in here some Belongings, there we go. Right, so, 
Lorne, your belongings. You're not wearing anything on your head right now. So let's give you this. Let us give you the Stew Smith's cloth hood, and then you can be better at cooking. Right, we have to be careful not to tick these because these junk or salvage the items, which is terrible. So, right, give you that. That's very exciting. Okay, does everybody else have leggings on? I think everybody else does have leggings. What does that mean? Uh, the durability of Isaac's leggings is terrible. Okay, can we give you those cloth leggings instead? Uh, yeah, you need to... Can you put them on? Because you're not... Where? Oh, no, you are wearing... Ah, there you go. No, you've put the good ones on and the old ones are... Then you're carrying them round or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. So we've made our very first hat. This is wonderful. Hooray! We've made a hat. And think... Are you putting it down out there, Lorne? Okay, is that the Stew Smith's hat? Yeah, there you go. You can wear... Oh, look. <laughs> it's actually got the proper hat on. It's got a little kind of droopy bit at the back oh that's wonderful okay lovely very good exciting hat right so now are we going to make the next thing and oh, now you're going to make some arrows okay seems weird that you made a hat and then some arrows but okay that's fine yeah so get the arrows out of the way not so bothered about those just just finish those hooray a load of arrows wonderful we could use them for trading or something i suppose um yes really we want more hats hang on they've built the they've built the chimney <gasps> hang on and lawler has sprinted over here and is doing some cooking we are cooking some imp okay what else can we make then simple meals okay this all seems very familiar I'm trying to cast my mind back to rim world um cooking one to seven okay so if we say yes please make a simple meal and just say quantity maintain at least i mean at least 10 so they can have two a day uh is that a bit much no, let's just say that. Let's do that for now. Can you maintain 10 of those? However, please do cook that meat as well. There go a huge big pile of arrows. Well, meter is moving them around. This is good. Look at this. This is looking so much better. Load of planting tasks, but everything else down here looking very good. Still not gone to, um, to do the hunting yet, I notice. Maybe we could go and do some hunting when we have got our bows sorted. Got loads of arrows. Then we make bows. That's got to be a good thing. And look at that. We're cooking some imp. <laughs> That's what you get for trying to kill us. We get to eat you afterwards. Hooray. And um, and there we go. I think, is that it? Yeah, there we go. I think it's, I think it's, it says partially cooked just there, but I think it's actually done. Cooked imp. And it's going to decay for two years because it's outdoors. Is it? It doesn't look outdoors to me. That's very much inside. Uh, okay, it's three years outdoors. Why does it think it's outdoors? Uh, that's a bit confusing. Is it because of these gaps here? Maybe they need to be doors, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. Can we tell if they think the bed's outdoors or anything? No, we cannot. Does it think that's outdoors? No, not so bothered. Yeah, that's a bit weird. I don't quite know why that thinks that's outdoors. Um, okay, right. That's that's unexpected. We might have to sort of try and figure that out, possibly. Because, yeah, these clearly are not outdoors. Because they're indoors. Very obviously indoors. Oh, no. They're not. There's no roof. No, no, that's why. That's the problem. Of course. Hang on a second. There's no roof over there. And that is open. So now it's consider uh, considering it that they're outdoors. Okay, right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Structure. Roofs. Straw. Yeah, look. It's all open. <laughs> it's not right. There we go. Perfect. Right, they'll get that done in no time, maybe, possibly. Do you know what? They have actually finished it. Look at that. They did that very, very quickly. Well done, folks. Okay, so now we can go into here. So let's have a check. And there you go. Right, yeah, six years. That is now considered to be indoors. Okay, that's very good. So that's going to last a while. Although, of course, a year does seem to go by quite quickly. But still, that's better. You know, it's better than no food at all. That's going to decay in 11 years. Wow. Okay, right. That lasts quite a long time. Uh, nine years for the berries. Okay, right. Food is looking okay. Food is looking okay. It could be better, but we are growing some more corn. But um, yeah, if we could go hunting and get some more stuff, that would be quite good as well. Go and get some more meat to cook up into meals. That would be very good. And of course, we are now sort of attempting anyway to make some meals. We're trying to keep at least 10 simple meals kind of made. So I think 
If we could start getting that underway, that would be very good as well. Just to have a nice steady supply of basic food. Nothing fancy, but, you know, something a little bit better than just eating some, you know, raw kind of vegetables and fruit and stuff. So that could be quite good as well. But I think, yeah, we'll finish up for now. I am very much enjoying this. I do like this. I was expecting, if I'm honest, slightly more kind of incursions. I was expecting more kind of baddie monster type things. But, um... But yeah, no, that's fine. It's fine. It's okay. One monster came through and we're going to eat them at some point in the very near future. So there you go. Yeah, we're making use of everything in the situation. Uh, so yeah, next time, it'd be really good if we could get the short bows done, then equip some people with the short bows, and then go a-hunting. We can go wandering about and just see if we can find some animals, do a spot of hunting, and then bring back some meat. Maybe that meat could be used to... Um, to, you know, go into the simple meals or whatever. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just see what other things we can unlock. And maybe, maybe we'll start thinking about building some very basic sort of fortifications. If we grab a load more wood, maybe we could start building some fairly basic and defensive wall type things. But then we've only got these kind of spiky things right now. Just those. But, I mean, that's fine. That's better than nothing. It will stop people kind of coming through them. So maybe we could start thinking about that I and mean, i do want to get a great big kind of stone fortress thing on top of this hill because i think that would look magnificent but uh yeah yeah not quite at that point yet but yeah plenty to do so yeah we'll finish up now and then come back next time and just see how we get on hopefully you are still enjoying this if you are please do leave a like that would be most marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in noble fates but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i'll see you next time they've ripped my arms off ripped my legs off I mean, you know, unfortunately they didn't rip anything else off. Yes, I'm off my face on mushrooms. Why, Lady Charlotte, I, uh, I would certainly love to taste your cake. The King of the West is an idiot. I am off my face on mushrooms. I mean, asking me questions isn't going to be my strong point at the minute.